Hi, my name is Yamalite, you are watching Early Game View, and this is my first impressions of Blade and Soul, a new MMORPG from NCSoft. Well, to say that it's new is, uh, will be a bit of a lie, because it actually was released in Korea in, back in 2012, and now in 2016 it was finally released in Europe and North America, so we can have a look at the localized version. Uh, and, you know, for the game that was released in 2012, it's still quite pretty. I mean, it's not um, Black Desert level of pretty, but it's still quite good looking. So here's my character I've been playing for the past um, several days. Uh, as you can see, I am level... Um, you cannot actually see that, so let's have a look here. I am level 16. Ah, you can see it indeed here. So um, I've leveled up, I think I've unlocked most of the things that are available in the game, aside from uh, some of the skills that I have here. Uh, and obviously, you know, the skill tree here is pretty expensive. So, and you can level up. Each of these skills has its own uh, sub skills. And, you know, it's pretty tricky. Mm, but yeah, so what is this game about? Well, it's a um, Korean MMORPG about martial arts uh, set in sort of this Asian, or I guess, you know, it would be like old school China, martial arts movies, very, very reminiscent of it. Uh, the storyline is very much um, copy-paste from most of those movies. It's not very engaging, but nobody cares about the story here. It's very similar in this regards to Terra, because, you know, the quests and story and all of that stuff is quite boring, so I will just talk to those guys really quick and grab those quests too, so that we can do them. Uh, so the quests are not that engaging and the dialogues are quite boring and the objectives are more or less the same, you know, go and kill those guys, go and do something like clean out the dungeon or kill the boss or whatever. Uh, but the combat is so good that it doesn't even matter. So uh, you can fly uh, and you can fly really fast because this is a martial arts RPG, you know, you can you can run on water, uh, which actually looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, for some reason, the stamina bar that depletes uh, when you do the running um, is present at all. The thing is that it basically, the only thing that uh, bar affects is uh, running uh, out of combat. In combat, that bar is locked and you cannot use the sprinting or whatever. So I don't even know why they added it into the game. It's a bit strange. And what do we have? Unconscious Poggle. Okay. Uh, are you alive? Will you attack me? No, it doesn't seem so. Um, the aesthetic of the game is pretty cool. So there's like, uh, you know, it's quite old and he just ran away somewhere. But still it looks pretty nice. And um, there's the areas are pretty expensive. Not like super huge as in, say, uh, World of Warcraft. But they are still quite large and there's a lot of them. And this is like fifth area, I think, from the very beginning. So let's try to do that. Um... I guess we have to kill someone as well. So I'm I'm about to show you some combat probably. Okay, let's finish this with the rocks, which is a boring part, and then get to fighting, which is the fun part. Um, I want to complain about one thing that um, NCSoft does as the um, service provider, and somebody already did it. So uh, as, as you notice, there is a, a target lock. So basically, once you hit the monster first, uh, the monster is tied to you so nobody else can actually uh, get it and this is very annoying because the um, game right now is overcrowded with people and it's really hard to get monsters i very much prefer the guild wars 2 approach to that when you know the everyone who hit the monster did once uh, shares the results especially quest wise which makes it way easier to do all of those quests where you have to kill those really rare monsters we have someone here and okay uh, so, what's interesting about the combat? Well, the thing is that you have your basic attacks, but as well you have uh, dodging, like this, and then you can do very, very cool combos. And in addition, you have blocking. So if you press block in the right moment, as you can see, you can block and then you can do a crazy combo. You can even jump on your opponent and do a headbutt. <laughs> and um, there is... Uh, at least for like I'm playing the Kung Fu Master class, which is one of the trickiest ones as far as I understood. It has like the most, um, I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken, but it, by the looks of it, it had the most of the uh, like combo variations, I guess. So it's pretty tricky to play, but it's, uh, I found it 
so far to be the most fun. I mean, the other classes are not worse, let's say so, but they are, you know, way simpler. So this one has a lot of this, like, to pull off really powerful combos, you have to, like, first block and then do some of those crazy jumps and then, um, and then he's stolen my thresher. Let's try, what is that? Uh, I don't know who you are. So we need to kill threshers. Let's try to swap channels, actually. So we're uh, on the channel five. Let's try to go on channel three, maybe. Uh, so you do have the same, you know, instance channel thingy as most of the Korean MMORPGs have here. Uh, and yeah, so those combos can be pretty devastating, at least for uh, the Kung Fu Master. Um, I guess for the other characters it's the same, because, uh, you know, if you don't do combos, your attacks will be pretty plain. Uh, but on the other hand, if you do combos, you can do crazy stuff like that, and then punch him in the face, and, you know, that's like basically half of his HP, and then you can do other things like that, and then jump on him on top. And it's, you know, it's pretty fun. And again, I haven't unlocked all the skills, so there's um, there's even more than that. And uh, as, as I already showed you this skill, uh, Marshall Tom it's called. As you can see here, I have a bunch of skills still locked. And um, some of them are quest given, some of them I think will be given up on some specific level, and so on. And this is really awesome. So uh, again, the, the combat system here is pretty fantastic. Okay, and I was too slow. Uh, do we have more Threshers somewhere around? Come on. Yeah, I guess. I guess we have to defeat those guys. Let's just do that. I mean, why not? Let's just start by punching him in the face while he's on the ground. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a sort of minor gripe of mine. It, no, I'm terrible at blocking. Let's not do that. Block. Yeah, there we go. Face. There we go, and now let's do the. Oh, okay, he was actually faster than me. There we go, come on. Um, so yeah, this is like you know more of a, ow, ow, uh, more of a technical gripe here, I guess. There we go. Oh, he even dropped something. Um. But yeah, the game in general, like if you like good combat, you will definitely like it. The uh, problems I have with it is that it's very, 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 very RNG based. So the thing is, um, is that basically if you are looking for a game that has loot and drops and all that kind of stuff, this is probably not the game you want to look at because the drops from monsters here are so rare it's kind of crazy. And he just flew away, come on, I don't want to aggro the second one. No. Um, basically, I've, as you can see, I play like until level uh, 17, and this is basically to unlock most of the things. Um, and I, I had, I think I had like literally zero drops of the uh, gear, uh, like proper gear, gear. No, I, I'm lying. I actually had some. Uh, but the thing is that basically gear does not drop as is. It drops as those uh, sealed things that I at least know what class it's for, you know, so I have this like sealed daggers and sealed limb blade and some necklace and some weapon chests and some treasure chests. Uh, and uh, as well, I got those treasure chests as rewards for doing quests. So this one is, for example, from uh, defeating a boss. Let's open it here. And I got the, again, sealed uh, combat shield. So the shields are uh, equipment. The equipment here is a bit of a strange as well. Uh, you get only this uh, nine slots plus this ten uh, like soul slot, which I don't even know what is this. Uh, I guess you will get it later on. And then you have your weapon, and then you have this soul shield thingy, which is those um, bits and pieces of, I mean, I guess soul shield. And the thing is that basically they give you a boost for HP evasion, whatever, you know, and the more of them you have from the same set, the bigger the set effect will be and the bigger bonuses you will have. Um, the uh, equi like the costumes seem to be purely cosmetic also, if we switch to that, you know, I will just change my looks and literally nothing else changes because they don't have any bonuses, at least not now. Maybe they will have them better later. Uh, and then you get those um, uh, necklaces, rings, earrings, uh, again, this is charm is purely cosmetic, so it's the thing on my face, uh, very Asian thing. 
I think all of those are essentially cosmetic, so maybe only the uh, belt is maybe bracelets as well. Adornment, head adornment, bracelet. All of those are probably cosmetic. And then you have your weapon. The interesting thing is that I actually got this weapon on the very beginning of the game. This is the Hongmong uh, gauntlet, and then those are Hongmong earrings. And I, the only thing that I did is I uh, upgraded it. So I can do a breakthrough, but to do it I need this uh, Stalker gauntlet which can only be acquired as far as I understood from this Wheel of Fate or maybe there are some quests that do that. Um, and this is a huge problem with this game, you know, in Terra, let's open all of those, in Terra, even though it has like really fun combat, you did have like drops, like proper drops that you could, um, okay, what is this here? Gather spring water, why not? Uh, that basically you, got some equipment and you had this feel of instant gratification that you know you actually are progressing you felt like you are progressing uh here there's literally zero drops and um you like it's it's it comes down to the question you know does just getting the uh, equipment or not equipment, just getting the skills is enough for you to feel like you are progressing because if not then you are gonna be disappointed because there's not that many gear dropping down on the other hand um, doing parties and going to the uh, bosses in the dungeons is pretty fun on its own because you know there's like there's some really cool mechanics in, in um, relation to bosses as well uh, it's not just like um, okay I cannot really grab him maybe that was a waste of a skill and he's got stuck so there's another problem with um, the combat system is that the monsters uh, tend to get stuck in various places if you push them back using your skills like Iron Shoulder, for example, you know, that push him back. I got them uh, like stuck in the walls and in the dungeons, especially like if there are some barrels or something, they can just get inside and, and, and stay in there, which is like ridiculous, I don't know. I got stuck myself for like doing the running skills. I'm not sure why that happens. I mean, this game has been out since 2012. There's no excuse. Um, it is really, really weird. Okay, let's see, where do we go? We are, where the hell am I? I am over here and I, there's something over there. Okay, is that a dungeon? If it will be a dungeon, it will be pretty cool. I can show you some nice combat with a boss with a party. Uh, searching for parties is relatively easy here. And, oh yeah, this is actually a pretty fun thing. Uh, this Dragon Pass that I unlocked is basically fast travel inside of the zone. It looks pretty spectacular actually. So you can use them to get um, to a variety of places. And I, do I have to go up? Okay, we have some human warriors. And a block and then knock you out. And you know, this, this is really, really cool. Especially when you can pull off those really long combos. You do feel like a complete badass. What the hell? What? Wait, 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 there's way too many of you. What the hell is going on? Okay, let's do that. And uh, yeah, as you see, you know, he just flies off to the, um, into the door, or not the door, into the wall, and like, I'm, yeah, it's just really annoying when this happens. Okay, and then we have this guy. I, did he resurrect it into this ghoul thingy? Come on, die already. There we go. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Is it him who had this done? No, doesn't look so. Okay, he actually dropped something. Again, sealed dagger. As you can see, enemies drop only sealed stuff, so there's like literally no way to get new gear. I have some crafting material here. And um, yeah, another problem I have with this game is amount of currency I get. So as you can see here, I have uh, two silver and 73 copper. And here I have my uh, dumplings and healing tonics. And the thing is that, so if I eat dumpling, I will get like 100% of HP restored over 20 seconds. So it's basic, basically your, you know, MMO food. The thing is that one dumpling in the shop, if you, I want to go back and buy it, uh, costs, um, what was it? Five silver? I like I haven't spent even one um, coin here. So like all that time that I played, I haven't spent anything. So I only get got stuff like you know from uh, quests. I got stuff from and there was one button. 
So let's see. No, I should use more of the evasive maneuvers because it can be pretty powerful, but I am terrible at that. Like I'm, I got pretty good at blocking, but uh, not at the evasion. Do that. Okay, there we go. And I'm again how, down to half of HP, almost half of HP. Uh, which, you know, if you play really well and if you use evasion and all that stuff really, really um, good, then essentially it's possible to get almost zero damage uh, during the combat. And again, if you use like headbutt and all that stuff, you can even replenish your health. There we go. That was pretty good. Okay, yeah. Okay, they started so basically the... <laughs> The higher, it seems like the higher the enemy's level is, the better loot they drop, which kind of makes sense. But in the beginning, they basically drop nothing, like literally nothing. So the enemies in the first tutorial zones don't drop shit. It, it's really, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't, you know, I'm, <laughs> I love games like Diablo that, or even World of Warcraft that actually give you this sense of progression. But here it seems like all the progression is tied to acquiring new skills and this can be annoying and again this currency thing um one of the impressions that i have uh, about the currency is that they want to kind of make you buy things that will um allow you to do this asian things that they basically decided to keep here i guess after localization because you have this for example fortune wheel or whatever that you can spin twice a day for free and I think you can buy additional spins so I got some trade pouch and whatever bollocks uh, and as well of course you have um, yes I want to take all of that thank you very much uh, of course you have the in-game store because this is a free-to-play game uh, which surprisingly sells most of the things that sells are actually cosmetics so there's like really nice uh, headgears and um a cat only yeah so for like your pets and stuff and there's some food that uh does give you quite uh quite an advantage so not only it recovers your health it as well gives you an incredible buff for like incredible number of um things and as well you can buy keys and charms that help you to unlock chests uh, like this one for example you see, it requires keys. So I got some keys from, from uh, quests, but I imagine they only give you in the very beginning. So let's use a key and open it, and I don't see what the hell did I get. I got a ruby. Where is it? I don't... I Wait, what? Where did it go? Ah, here it is. Okay, so it's actually... Triggers... So I can actually embed it into my... Uh, weapon so you can see i have uh, two game slots you can get more game slots for these game hammers that only sold on the market um i mean i guess you know that's fine because it's basically just either you want to spend money on a better uh, more slots to your current weapon or you can find a better weapon uh let's open another chest and we get another game 20 additional damage that's actually quite a lot okay and here's another thing so we have a locked weapon chest and um to unlock it, we can either use a normal key or we can use a brilliant Viridian key that's again obtained from uh, either quests or bought from the store, which will guarantee that you will get a weapon for your class. But, you know, I don't have that, so let's just open it and we got Assassin's Dagger because, of course, we have. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. And now we're going to headbutt you to recover some health and now we're going to finish you off. Nice. That was gonna go back and we need to um i guess Please i'm gonna eat my last later. dumpling because i don't have any more left and this is annoying because i don't essentially i don't have any means to recover my health and you know i can't even buy one because i only have two uh yeah two silver and it costs five it's like i don't even know what's the reasoning behind this uh, economy here and again as you know i, I haven't seen any uh Web items in the store that would actually force you to buy the store stuff because um, they are basically buffs so they will save you time but they are not like replacements for those dumplings and there's no way to buy currency as well which is a bit weird i'm not sure what's going on here oh we have a bomb which is actually pretty cool let's do that uh, those are really powerful they can one-shot enemies uh, 
Uh, they are pretty rare, again, uh, not as rare as actually equipment drops, which is a bit silly. Okay, we got some medicine from them, and what are those? Uh, oh, they are the sick guards, okay, I see. Whatever, they can just die here, let's go kill this guy. Um, I actually have one more skill. Um, there is an interesting thing about skills, actually, so you get the training points every level, obviously, and... Um, you can press this recommended button, which will actually ask you which build you want to make and, up, and will uh, redistribute it for you specifically. But I think I'm just going to go and counter because this uh, does buffs you a lot. So let's have a look here. Um, I mean, there is actually a ton of, what is this? While attacking all attack defense. That looks crap. Okay, I, I think I need to spend some time reading that because there's an insane amount of those things. Okay, I guess we can just wrap it up here um, because there's not really that much more to show you. This is Played in Soul. You can go and play it right now. It's free and, uh, you know, if you like action combat MMORPGs, it's pretty fun. You know, you can at least have a couple of hours of fun for free. And maybe if you invest into it, you can get some cosmetic stuff because I, you know, don't think that's really uh, like those. Uh, you really need the, any of those uh, things that they sell on store. I mean, they definitely can save you time because they do provide powerful buffs, but you don't really need them. You can grind them for quests. Um, the only question is like, how the hell do you heal in this game? Because it's too expensive. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!